Good Friday morning, everybody. It's Suzanne at White Dragonfly Healing, and I'm going to do a quick message for you today. I have two great cards. I'm going to keep it simple, um, but I just want to say good luck to everybody who's expecting that like big snowstorm to blow through Ontario, Southern Ontario, Canada, and also I think there's a lot of people in, in uh, the U.S. dealing with that right now also. So yeah, safe travels over the weekend. If you don't have to go out, I guess it would make sense to stay home and uh, not risk getting in an accident with that much snow, right? Anyway, so I wanted to start off by showing you this card. Remember yesterday in my message, there? if I zoom in on it, if I can, there's that picture from the other card. But this is the little like shrine thing we saw in Northern Italy, and uh, it was just so very cool. But the message that comes along with this is a great one. And then I have this one. Uh, it's a, um, a Mother Earth card. Okay, so which one should I start with? Um, let's start with this one. Okay, whoops. So this, if you see this, so I was on a bus when I took that picture. And that is the top of the tree. Okay, but you can see that it's a lot smaller than the mountains in the background. But you can also see that it has a lot of power it has a lot of strength to hold itself up at that height like because we were way up high you could see down you know down the cliffs to the bottom where that tree would be but you can see that it uh nothing is really making it feel less than the big mountain behind it you know what i mean um it's got a good stance it's stance it's solid it's standing there beautifully you know displaying itself to the world and the message is um, there is power and stance even when you feel dwarfed by another so it's about strength and character and it actually goes along well with the other card and i i believe this card represents um how we present ourselves to others it's funny how everything's kind of tying in this week but anyway um you may find yourself in a position where there's those above you who are in a power position, maybe in employment, maybe in your family, there's controlling people at the top of your family or in your family structure, like who knows what your situation is, right? But strength of character, you know, it shows a lot when you can just go with the flow of what's going on um stand firm like you know like this week i kind of stood up for myself and in, in in that instance and uh didn't cower down because somebody in another position maybe felt they were in control of what was going on you know that kind of thing stay true to who you are always it doesn't matter if there's people at a higher level than you it's all an illusion when you think about it. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, you all put your socks on the same way. And that's the way I look at everybody. I've never been caught with like stardom or stars in my eyes looking at a celebrity. Never. Being a musician and having access to going backstage with, with certain other music friends and meeting people that were in big festivals that, um, you know, had a name in Canada right and then seeing their true character behind the scenes you know i've never i i had a big eye opening with a, a musician years ago i won't mention his name but i went for an autograph i was backstage and I, you know okay we were able to do that and he flat out turned me down he said i don't do that i'm like are you kidding me there's thousands of people here to see you you know and I like I didn't say that to him i said oh well, okay sorry and i walked away right but i was thinking to myself Thousands of people are here to see you and you don't give that time to your fans, you know, so that changed my whole perspective on um, people in a position of uh, being thrust out into the public as some kind of figure, political figure, music figure, actors, musicians, whatever they are, you know, everybody puts their socks on the same way unless they live in the Caribbean and they wear flip flops, you know what I mean, it, it doesn't matter. It's how you hold your stance and how you display yourself when you're put in a position of somebody being powerful over top of you. How are you going to handle that if they rub you the wrong way or if they like 
say something that offends you or goes against the grain of, of how you feel? How are you going to display your character to them? That speaks volumes on your spiritual growth. It speaks volumes on how you were raised. It speaks volumes on how you view other people, um, how much control you have of your emotional state, your emotional body, you know, your, uh, your mindset. It shows a lot how you react in situations, okay? Now, this other card, I tell you, I work with Jesus in a lot of things, right? He has flat out told me this message and this is where this card came from. Um, even my own disciples came up against me. And it, the, oops, the message is have forgiveness from the heart. Even my own disciples came up against me. I remember I this hap, this card came about when I first started my YouTube channel and I was being bashed all over the place because I was doing quantum sessions. I was uh, doing hypnosis where, you know, I was pulling the collective through and, you know, now it's more accepted to have, you listen to Bashar or you listen to, you know, any of those people that do channelings like that, then you understand, hey, yeah, there's another, the consciousness is all around us and we can pull that through um, if we get into the same frequency and the same vibration. So in quantum sessions, we bring our clients to a state of synambulism, which is the, the deepest you can take somebody before they pass out and fall asleep, right? And um, when they're in that state, they're in a frequency that a uh, consciousness can come through and speak and it's just reality this is nothing new okay dolores canon canon did thousands of sessions like that but when i started doing them people started coming up against me oh you're working with the devil oh you're this you're that and i was devastated because i was like you know back then that was a long time ago since a little more sensitive than i am now but um this is how the card came about I remember sitting there and he came right in and said that even my own disciples came up against me. You just have to have for forgiveness in your heart for people because they don't know any better. And that's where my whole mindset came from, where people do things that don't make sense. Right. And um, I, I look, I look at people and it may sound judgmental, but I think, well, they're just beginners. They're still in kindergarten. They haven't got that far yet. On the spiritual level you know to understand maybe they haven't done any inner work they haven't done that kind of thing um and that's how i kind of view people and i you know i've said that before they just don't know any better so what are we going to do are we going to judge them well sometimes we get caught in that you know sometimes we get caught in that but it's how we're looking at them right how we're making that judgment call on a person are we looking at a situation and going they really just don't know any better or it's obvious that they weren't taught that, you know, so how do, what kind of energy are we going to put to them? Are we going to just have a forgiving heart? Are we just going to let things slide and go, well, they don't know any better. What's the point? You know, if I felt they were maybe open to listen to what I had to say or explain it from my point, then I would make an effort. But, you know, if they're not going to be that way, it's just let it go. Eventually it'll come back around. That lesson will keep coming to them. And they will have to learn it eventually. That's how the universe works. If you don't get the lesson the first time, they bring it back with another person or another situation. And it's the same thing. It's like the loop. You go round and round until you understand the message. And then you move on and you move up, right? So there's the message, okay? It's a really cool little statue. I swear it was only like this tall. It was quite small, right? But very beautiful. Anyway, those are your messages. Hold your stance. Be proud of who you are. Don't feel belittled by anyone. Don't let anybody's comments or um, position they think they're in bring you down or threaten you or make you feel scared or in fear. Okay? Don't do that. Just hold your stance. Know who you are. You're a powerful being and um, know that you've got this, right? So those are your messages for today. I hope you have a great weekend. I'm going to, I'm really looking forward to the snowstorm that's coming. I love snow and it's almost 10 minutes. So I'm going to let you go. Have a great weekend, everybody. And I'll talk to you again soon.